Hey Tim, so we're here to give a brief overview on our jeweler software. We've been in the jeweler space now for over 20 years. Um, yeah. We're really proudly um, an Australian uh, product being developed here in Australia for jewelers in Australia and New Zealand. Our support's local. So we, we, we tick a lot of the green and gold boxes, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Um, and we're really proud to have hundreds and hundreds of jewelers as software customers. So that's interesting because jewelers uh, give us uh, advice and feedback on ways we can improve the software. Correct. Um, we have a very transparent process and our latest software update, for example, has got some really nice facilities that jewelers have been looking for. And that's one of the benefits of being uh, a local company, but we're not here to talk about that. You're going to show us some highlights about the jeweler software. So let's get into it. Yeah, yeah, sure. Look, yes, yeah, so I've, I've got a couple of things on my list to run through, but I guess before I share my screen, uh, the, the first thing I wanted to show you was the labels. Um, mm -hmm. So, uh, that's an example of our, our jewellery labels. And actually what I will do- I will We need to send you to school on how to hold something up in front of a screen. Yeah, I, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm not real great at it, but what I was going to do, oh, <laughs> so that's, that's the physical version. I was going to show it on my screen as well. So you can oh. actually, that's the, the label there. So the label you're holding is what we can see on the screen. And, and it, you've got these multiple labels within the one. You do, correct, yeah. So you can see there the one I've got uh, on my, my wedding band there, for example, you can actually see the long description loops around the main part of that label. Yeah. So it's actually quite quite clever in the way it works. But you've also got these smaller configuration ones so that if you do want a different label on the front of the jewellery box or this one over here, you might even stick underneath if it's in a you know in packaging. Um, you've got a lot of flexibility with how you use those labels. Right. And, and they can actually be customised based on the type of item that it is. So a set of earrings might have a different label structure to what an engagement ring does and things like that. So you can, yeah, pick and choose how they work. Right. And, and they're a really small, discrete label. So they don't take away from the design of the product. It's simply there to provide the information to the staff, but also allow you to easily sell it. Um, yep. And those labels... Uh, they're you basically essentially got to cut them off. They're they're really really durable, and they are capable of going through the ultrasonic machine as well. So when cleaning pieces, you don't need to relabel them. Nice, very yeah. nice. Um, so that was kind of the first thing I wanted to run through. But look, now that I've got my uh, my screen shared, um, yep. I've, this is what you see here is essentially the main screen of uh, of retailer. Now, uh, one thing that's really cool uh, about the software is this is all customizable. So. You know, we see a, a pretty diverse range of jewellers using our system from, you know, uh, your, your small kiosk style jewellers right up to your high-end manufacturing jewellers. And they they actually have quite different requirements in terms of how they want to put through a transaction and how they want to use the system as well. So this screen here being customizable, if it's a jeweller that doesn't do special orders or you know isn't working with manufacturing their own goods and things like that we customize this screen to suit to suit the unique needs of each business yeah. and that, that level of flexibility also translates through to the point of sale screen so if i jump in here and um, this is my point of sale screen we customize this to suit per install so down the bottom here i've got a couple of items for demonstration purposes i've got all my different shortcuts for how that transaction is going to work um, and this is where our system really shines for a jeweler in the sense that you can essentially tailor it to how you need your transaction process to work so you know going back to what i said before some you know kiosk jewelers might simply want to select it scan an item put a sale through and have that sale done quite quite quickly Whereas another jeweler is going to want to have a far more involved process with the customer where they might, where they might want to track notes against the sale or uh, record an occasional anniversary based on that transaction. So they start to build that information in the background of the system. So your key message is that um, there's a lot of flexibility in terms of how the system is set up to look and feel. And, and that's sort of customised through that installation and training process. Correct, yeah, yeah. And so if I go through that process in the, I guess the most thorough way, keep in mind any of this can be kind of trimmed out if they do need it to be a, a, a faster process. But if I was selling a, this pearl pendant, for example, 
when I select that Perl pendant, I've got my system set to bring up an image of it straight away. So, you know, if I'm selling a, an expensive item, um, the staff are checking, yes, that is absolutely the product I've just scanned to add to yeah, that. Yeah. Um, that puts it on my transaction. The next thing I can do, if I want to link this to a customer, I can simply hit my select customer option here and choose them out of my database. So I can search for the customer. I'm just going to choose mine. That can automatically apply any discounts. So if you have VIP customers or someone that's in your system, you, you might set them up to have, say, a 5% discount and things like that. So you can pre-configure that sort of stuff. Yep. Um, when it comes to discounting a transaction, there's also a lot of visibility. So I can, if I want to discount this, I can simply click on my discount bit here. This shows me my GP information for that product. Right. And then I can go ahead and discount it. So you can turn that on or off. So if you don't want your staff seeing it, you can you can hide that from view. But at the same time, if you want that visibility, we can certainly enable it. Yep. Um, as I mentioned before, I can also track events, occasions, and things like that against the customer. So if so I want to interrupt for a second, yeah, you've got right. there a uh, 18 carat diamond uh, and 30 millimeter drop pearl pendant for $2,295. Now, we have a real diverse mix of jewelers in our customer base. And I know, for example, we've got some jewelers who are selling, you know, $25,000, $30,000 pieces. Correct. And we've got other jewelers selling $25 pieces. Yep. And, and that's a, there's a big gap between that. And I think it's wonderful that you're going to buy your wife this $1,295 <laughs> drop pearl pendant. And I'm, I'm going to tell Kim that she should be looking for it. She would think that's wonderful too, but uh, <laughs> I don't know if that's what's happening today, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> but my point is, I guess, um, it's in that diversity of price range, you know, $30,000 down to $25. Um, we really do cover a very diverse mix of jewelers with the software. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that's where, like I was saying before, that flexibility with when we do the initial setup with setting it up, how it needs to work for that type of jeweler. Yeah. Uh, you know, we're, it's, we're, we're offering that, that level of, of customization per business. Yeah. Hey, look, I interrupted you. Let you, let you keep on. Oh, yeah. Look, so, yeah. So what I was saying is you can also link events to this. So if this was, as you said, uh, a birthday present for my wife, I could, I could have that event in the system. So it's recording that information. So, uh, next September or next, you know, even August, I could jump into the system and say, hey, by the way, Tim, your wife's birthday is coming up. Don't forget, uh, you know, we've got a lot of options for you and, you know, possibly even offer a discount or something like that. So there's a lot of, a lot of flexibility with recording that sort of stuff. But I'm just going to, I'm going to go ahead and discount this. I'm just going to take a uh, hundred bucks, for example. So I'm going to discount that down. Now, when I go to finalize this transaction, there's a heap of different ways to put the payment through. Firstly, you can do your lay-by. Um, we've got integrations with Hum and Zip. And we also bridge the system directly with the FPOS pin pad. So this transaction here, uh, 2,195, if they were paying by card, I simply hit that option there. It records the staff member that's doing the transaction. So if you want to report on who's putting through what sales, GP per staff member, you've got all of that in the background. Um, but if I complete this, I've got this Pearl Pendant set up to do a valuation when I finalise that transaction. So nice. this is going to do a separate valuation certificate listing the retail price, not the discounted yep. price. And I can preview that one. I've just got a pretty simple format for it. It's got all the info. You can see there it's got my price and I've got an image of it on there as well. That can have all of your valuation uh, certification information and whatnot on there as well. And I can format that, can't I? You can, yeah. So you can customise that to suit. Yeah. So, you know, if, if it is, uh, you know, over a certain price threshold, like so this one's 2000 you know, just over $2,000, I'm doing valuation certificates for those products. But if I was selling something for 100 bucks, I probably wouldn't worry about doing a valuation certificate. Yep. That just gives the customer something to use for insurance purposes aside from their standard transaction receipt. Yeah, yeah. And so if I continue through this, uh, I've got a couple of receipt for, uh, styles here. I'm just going to select my first one. This is my customer's transaction receipt. And again, I mean, you mentioned it with the valuation certificate. This is all customizable. So we can modify this to suit. So 
Some jewellers will want images of products on there. Some will want to show a discount that the customer's got. Others won't. So we tailor all of that to suit. Yep. But this one here, you can see it's got the logo on, on the top, so nice and professional. Store details, the customer's info. It's got the image of the product in the body of that, that transaction receipt as well. Um, really, really professional documentation. Nice. Very yeah, nice. so you can tailor all of that to suit. And the beauty is, you know, that's all tracked in the background. So, you know, if, uh, if that particular customer comes in six months later, I can print off a list of all the products they've bought over time from me. Yep. Um, so you can yeah keep a keep a record of that, and then I can market to them based on those transactions. So um, a question without notice, given that you know we're talking here about this two thousand two hundred dollar gift that you want to buy for your wife. <laughs> now um, you know I'm a high end jeweler. You're an infrequent shopper. Yeah. Um, it's not that you're buying two and a half thousand dollar pieces on a weekly basis. So um, you're in the shop. I want to encourage you to spend more with us. And that's where your different forms of loyalty can play out and, and try and get you, Tim, to release some of your cash for the business. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, if, if you go one step further with that, I'm also uh, quite uh, hesitant to provide my details because I don't want to, you know, go into that kind of marketing pool where I'm getting, you know, an email every day from a business. So if I put through a different sale, if I say this Pandora uh, bangle, um, there we go. And I said, look, yep, just put it on my card. You don't need my details. Uh, you simply go F plus. So this one isn't linked to a customer. Yep. When I complete this sale, uh, I've got my, my Pandora products set to do a VIP loyalty voucher on the bottom of the receipt. So... Oh. This has automatically looked at what was in the sale and done a, a, a value based on my rules uh, to, to print on the bottom of that receipt. Right. So as a business owner, they're able to say what the rules are for calculating that thirty nine ninety eight value. C correct. Yeah. Yeah. And they can totally customise this bit. So if they wanted to rebrand it as something else, they can. If they want to yeah. set what the expiry terms and conditions are, or even if they wanted to link it just to that same range of products, they can do that sort of stuff too. Nice. Okay. All right. So I interrupted you. Let's have a look at, at what else you want to show us just quickly. Yeah. 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 So that, look, the next bit, um, you know, as, as we were saying, there's a, a vast variety of jewelers using our system. Some of those uh, do a lot of manufacturing and customizing of products. So I've got an item on my, on my screen here, Dave's custom design ring. I've added that to the sale. It's $3,300. But what I actually want to show you here is something in the background. I can go into my product information for that item. Now, this is a manufactured good. So I can actually select my manufactured goods option here. And it shows me what components this product is, this product is made up of. So you can attribute all of the elements to that, that item, including having things like a labor charge in there. And that will then calculate out what your retail price should be. So you've got a lot of flexibility with how you manage those items as well. Right. Um, and you can also, we've made some changes. I think you mentioned at the start, um, our next update has a lot of changes based on, um, you know, what our jeweler customers want. And one of those things was uh, this bit down the bottom, you can set it to automatically recalculate the sell price. So some jewelers want to put what the gold price is into the system on a daily basis. They can now put that in. And as they change that, it'll automatically update uh, cost and sell prices of, uh, of items in their system. Right. So, yeah, so manufactured goods was another, another element that I wanted to run through. Um, the that, next thing... That, that's a good example, Tim, where you've got this sort of jeweler who is... Um, you know, professional jeweler designing and making items. So you've got that's at, at kind of one point in the scale. And then you've got the other jeweler who's, who's just selling items that they're buying from suppliers. And this software is diverse enough to serve both needs. Correct. Yeah. And, and I mean, I showed that A4 receipt style, um, you know, transaction receipt before, yeah. but we can also do those. So some of our, you know, kiosk jewelers or retail jewelers will do the docket style receipts instead. So we've got the flexibility to 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 suit the, the customers. Yeah. Uh, what else did you want to show people? 
Look, you know, one thing that's been really big over the last, I would say, you know, 18 months, especially with everything happening with COVID, is our e-commerce integration. Yep. So if I, again, choose my, my Pearl Pendant here, for example, um, we can link the system uh, with our customers' website. So if they wanted to sell this Pearl Pendant online, I've got all of its information in here. I've got a sell price and I've got a separate web store price if I want to as well. I can load unlimited images against that product. I can also put in any extra information. If I want to sell that product online, all I need to do is tick this box and it will then push all of that across to the website. If right. I sell it in store, it'll either remove it from the website automatically or change it to say out of stock for me. So yeah, really easy to manage that. And we integrate directly with um, Magento WooCommerce as well as Shopify. Yeah, correct. Shopify being, you know, if, if somebody asks us for our opinion, we would say Shopify is the way to go. It's a beautiful, beautiful platform. Uh, we've done many Shopify websites integrated with our software and it works like an absolute charm. Yeah, absolutely. It's been, it's been really good. And our customers are loving it because we do the initial design and construct. Um, but we then do a handover process so they can then manage any changes they want to make with the website down the track. So we absolutely give them control over it. Nice. Excellent. Uh, look, the next thing, and I'll, look, I know I'm starting to go on a little bit, uh, but the last thing I wanted to go through was uh, repairs and job tracking. So, um, you know, again, that diversity of, of customer range. Um, we can also track any workshop uh, history and all of that sort of info in the system as well. So, I can add a job in, I can track what's to be done, where it's to go. If it goes to external suppliers for work, you can also track all of that sort of stuff against it as well, including when it's expected to come back. Even who the courier is that you send it through, you can record all of that info. Um, right down to loading any images against repairs and jobs and certainly allocating any products or components to them as well. So really handy, especially if you know, you've got multiple staff, anyone can come in here and see where a job's at, where it's been sent and see that, that full history of it. Um, this will do things like printing job cards for customers, um, printing job dockets to go with the goods for in-store. Um, and even when you complete a job, so as soon as I put a completed date in here, the system will automatically email or text message the customer to let them know that their, their repair or job is completed. Excellent. Hey, look, uh, we're just really giving a brief overview here to the software. Um, if you're demonstrating the Jeweler software to somebody, um, that demonstration, I, I imagine, could be it could be an hour, could be two hours, depending how much detail they want to go into in terms of what the software does. Yeah, and and look, also depending on you know what their what their business does. So yeah. our first step, if someone was interested in having a look at what we do. Um, we'll do a quick call to start with to evaluate what their needs are, um, understand how their business works, and then we can tailor that demonstration process to, to suit what they need. Yeah. Um, so I want to touch on a couple of things um, because, you know, we, we are, we're a specialty software company. Uh, when people uh, rent our jeweler software, uh, we are not on top of that charging them consulting fees. You know, we're not wanting them to lock into, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars worth of consulting. We've invested very heavily in helping the software be genuinely uh, useful and understandable without the need for expensive consulting fees. Um, we don't pay any secret commissions. We don't pay any kickbacks to anybody to say good things about us. Um, we're really thrilled that we've got hundreds of customers because people like the software and they like the service. So. Correct. Uh, we will continue to evolve the Jeweler software um, and uh, we'll do that partly because Jeweler retail is evolving, but also because um, new facilities are becoming available. Like when Buy Now Pay Later became a thing, we were one of the first in the marketplace to bring that to life within the software. So we're, we're very keen to do all of those things and also to connect with suppliers to make it easier for suppliers to transact with their Jeweler retail customers. Yeah, absolutely. Like, we, you know, we're happy to engage with any suppliers on that sort of stuff. If we can get more of those links happening, it just yeah, saves everyone time with using the yeah. system. So if somebody wants to see the software, they can contact uh, the sales team and, and you arrange to personally demonstrate to them. Um, my understanding is also that, that with their permission, you'll record that demonstration and give them a copy of the recording. 
Yeah, absolutely. Look, it's our preference to record the demonstrations because firstly, it gives um, the customer another resource. So, you know, if they do want to go back through it, they absolutely can because, you know, a, a demo can go from anywhere from half an hour to three or four hours and that can be a lot of information to yeah. take in. So a lot, yeah, I will happily share the link with them afterwards so they can go back through it um, go back over any bits they want or even if there's anyone else involved in the business maybe another owner or staff members or even an accountant yeah. Um, yeah, more than welcome to share that share that recording with them also I think for me the the recording of the the demonstrations and giving people a copy of the recording um, is uh, an expression of transparency yeah uh, it's very important to us that that uh, people actively choose to actively make their decision. And if that's to go with us, we're thrilled and we want them to make that decision based on all of the information available. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much. If somebody wants to see the software, they can uh, reach out to you or the sales team yep. um, and uh, you'll organize that. But thanks for today. Absolutely. No worries. Thanks.